This is a video response to a whole bunch of people. So this video, oh man, is a delicious video response to Andrew Bravner. Um, and he, in his open letter to YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, YouTube. YouTube! Hello, YouTube community. Hi, YouTube. Before YouTube, I walked through life. And now I frolic. There's been a lot of discussion on YouTube. On YouTube. There are two things about YouTube that kind of bug me. Hey, YouTube, can we talk about the plummeting IQ of the internet audience? If you notice, a majority of the top 100 subscribers, their thumbnails are usually of boobs. Make your thumbnail bright yellow. If possible, add boobs. And you'll be well on the way to the tippy tippy top of the most subscribed list. I know, I know. Top 100, not a very good representation of YouTube. So Peter put up this video in which he was like, ah, everybody in the top 100 on YouTube sucks except for the Vlogbrothers and Charlie. I don't want to have to say, please thumbs up and favorite if you don't know what you would do without scissors. Because you're my subscriber and you support me in all my endeavors. There are always going to be smaller channels than you just trying to survive and fantastic content that won't rise unless someone gives it a hand. Uh, yes, this just in, Erica is making a video, but... No one gives a f It's hard to get noticed on YouTube these days. But now I feel like YouTube has changed a little for some people. It's less about friendships and the sharing of ideas and more about entertainment, YouTube events, and just, dare I say it, money. YouTube should be a creative outlet, not a way to make money. Only those people who actually create great content, who have 200,000 subscribers or whatever, only they can walk the red carpet. There's too wide of a range. No one person wants to see so many different kinds of content. Obviously, people prefer content that is consistent. Now it's like a to-do list. Like, it's like a job to watch all these videos. Questions surrounding this channel selected for partnership and the disparities in income between big-time and smaller-time partners generate much discussion on YouTube. These kinds of discussions remind us that just because is an answer that we should never settle for. You may have noticed we don't do much in the way of sponsored videos. So I've noticed this trend among popular YouTubers to pick and promote somebody who doesn't have a lot of subscribers, but who does produce lots of good content. I'm totally all for supporting the little guy. Number four, Emma Fan 9 I needed a boy in this, so I threw in Ryan, and I love Ryan's videos. Mfan09. You mean Ryan over there on Mfan09. If you're subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you were subscribed to Ryan Mfan09. Ryan Mfan09. And Ryan slash Mfan09. Mfan09. Some part of me knows that YouTube is still a legitimate place where people can get together. For a lot of people, vloggers especially, this community is kind of the driving force behind why they do YouTube. We don't like what's going on. What do we do now? 